Tony from Plevo here to walk you through how to register your brand and campaign for 10 DLC directly on the console. So when you first log into the console, if you go to messaging and scroll down or just go down to 10 DLC, click on that icon down there, it'll take you to the 10 DLC registration page. So I'll give you a little background on what 10 DLC is, and you can see uh, the register for a standard campaign. Now the starter is grayed out. We are currently not offering starter, so you will uh, click on the standard register. If you scroll down a little more, you'll see some, some various other details about the different carriers. So go ahead and click on register, and we can start registering our 10 DLC branding campaign. Now, just simply walk through each box in each field and fill it out, and you will click continue. So on this first page, you will need information like your first and last name, the title of your your position, uh, the business email, company name, your website, the entity type, the vertical you are in, your tax identification number, company address, city, state, country, zip code, and then you can click continue. If you notice, if I click continue now, everything that needs to be filled out that is not will be in red. So uh, we're give you a little bit of a heads up that something is not filled in. So you can't continue unless something is filled in. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in and we'll find out about the next page. So now that we have all of our information filled out, I have the contact information filled out, the business information filled out. You see where I filled in my vertical, my entity type, uh, my tax identification number. Like I said earlier, now this is all filled out. I can click continue and we'll go to the next page. Now this is our campaign registration. This is the heart of, really the heart of the 10 DLC registration on the console. You can add your, not you can, but you have to add in your campaign name, which is an alias for your campaign. Your campaign type, and if we select this down, you have 2FA, account notification, delivery notification, marketing, customer care, fraud alert, right? This goes through all the different campaign types. And there's also mixed, where if you have a mix of these at low volume, you can select that as well. Make sure your campaign name is something, you know, that you're going to be able to eas easily identify. Now I'm pick mi mix, I am selecting a mixed campaign type. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do 2FA and I will do delivery notification. Say this is mine. So I will select what I need. And then if you scroll down, you'll see you'll have to add in campaign description, your message flows, a sample message, there are two of them, uh, of the kind of message you will be uh, sending. And if you look at these, we give you uh, pretty much everything you will need to enter uh, to get these approved. So, for example, sample message number one, you see it's a one-time password for your transaction at you know, Zach stores with your MasterCard ending this OTP is valid for 10 minutes. Your help message and your opt out message. And there's also various uh, buttons. So you can select, you know, for your campaign, some, some different attributes such as opt in, opt out, subscriber help. Are you direct lending or a loan arrangement? Any embedded links, embedded phone numbers, affiliated marketing and age uh, gated content. What, once all this is filled out, you will hit continue. And once you fill out all your information, this is simply the receipt, the recipient's um, an acknowledgement. And so you will simply uh, enter an email or several emails that you, uh, the acknowledgement of this, um, the recipients of this email for, for any 10 DLC registration updates, uh, consent and then agree uh, these two and then click submit and you are done that is it uh, you have submitted your your brand and your your campaign um to the campaign registry through the playable console and, and that's all you have to do